So what do you do when you're sitting on a terrace and you wonder why there's no beer from your home country? You make your own. It's back in 1995-96, uh, this couple did exactly that and it wasn't easy to set up a brewery. You need a lot of equipment, you need a lot of investment and people think you're crazy, but they went ahead anyway. This one is well known for its chestnut flavor, Chatagne in uh, French. And I just so happened to have my little beer opener with me. Never leave home without it. Not so subtle plug. Let's have a taste, let's see what it's like. What you also need to do is bring a handy cup with you because we're not Neanderthals. And we need to see the color. Look at that. That's pretty golden, pretty chestnut color. How is it on the nose? Very rounded, creamy, bit of caramel coming through. This one's not super cold, which is pretty good because it allows the flavor to come through a lot more. If it's really cold, the flavor's gone, which is another one to test as well. Some of the zero degree beers were very interesting. Um, this is quite strong. I'm gonna say 5.5, but I'll put it down here below. Uh, a very interesting beer, I've got to say. I mean, Corsica is not a very big country. Uh, their brewery is just south of Bastia. So if you do take the ferry, you go to um, Corsica, drop in there, grab a few beers, and you're on your way. One more taste, just to give you an idea of what it tastes like. There's a bit of um, hoppiness coming through. Amertume, they call it in French. IBU, the International Bitterness Unit. And you can learn all about these ideas in our book. Beauty of beer, there's a lot of stuff in here. History, culture, laughs, jokes, a lot of uh, questions, pub quizzes for your friends. As an aeroplane comes past, because you're right near Zurich Airport, so while you're on your plane heading overseas, you can pass your time by reading this book, learning about the history, learning a few jokes for your mates, learning a whole lot of interesting fun facts, also how to order a beer in the language of the country you're going to and how to say cheers. And on that note, I'm gonna say thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next sip and cheers.